Hi, 50 days to go for CAT. What should be the preparation plan from now on? Point two. Very simple. The, from now, the, the plan is completely anchored around mocks. Point two. From now, what you have prepared, where you stand, how much of the ground you have covered, all of that, they go back. The topic by topic view, you have to take a step back from that. From now on, it is mocks all the way. And so what should you keep in mind? Now is a good time to think about starting to dump topics. So if, if, if trigonometry doesn't work for you, it goes out. If binomial theorem doesn't work for you, it goes out. If entire number systems, factors, factorial doesn't work for you, that can go out. And so don't, I would be reluctant to dump big topics like geometry, algebra, arithmetic, the whole chunks I don't want to dump. But some one thing races, you've never been comfortable, check it out. Now is the time to start taking those decisions. You need to get a sense of the big picture of what your strategy is, what your plan is. And so being in, in separately, individually good matters less from now on. So anchor your preparation around what your plan is. Should, you should say, look, I think I can get about 15, 16 questions in quant about 10 to 11 in DILR and possibly attempt 24, 25 in verbal. That's where I'm headed towards. And I'll see where I can get this from. And so in this last lab, you need to be asking those questions out of yourself. What's my plan? How am I going? How do I build intensity? All of that. And so to give you a parallel, if you're looking at say cricket, you know, lots of players have loads of talent for a given bouncer or a Yorker or, or, or a half volley, they can put it away. And then there are some other guys who are wonderful at finishing matches. Limited guys, but they plan and maneuver and chair, track all these metrics and do really well. And so to, to give you a live example, Dhoni is a master finisher. So was Michael Bevan. So was, to some extent, even Steve Waugh. They've always been guys way more talented than these guys. But you would want them in the last 10 hours because they plan the different pieces really well. Individually, for each delivery, they might not have the best response, but they know how to plan. So right now, that's the time to get the overall picture. Within that, more specifically, what, what you should do, you should look to dump topics. You should have an, a decision-making algorithm built in for leaving questions, not for selecting questions, for leaving questions. I have some simple rules. Sentence elimination goes right at the end. TATA in verbal goes right to the end. Long question in quant, I won't touch it. Uh, DILR with three different charts. If the, if the number of charts or caps or tables I can't see in the screen without scrolling, that goes to the end. So I have very clear rules for pushing to the end. So that you should have very clearly in place. You right? should aggressively analyze mocks and review them. So make, make that a, be very disciplined about your mock plan. From now, you should look to take give or take 15 to 20 mocks. Don't just increase your mock count. You can't take back-to-back -back mocks. You can't take mocks, two mocks in a day. You can't even take mocks on consecutive days. But you should squeeze in 20 over or 15 to 20 over the last 50 days. So plan this very well. Be very disciplined about it. Revisit topics. But now you're going to revisit topic not to kind of bolster your weakness area, but to reinforce your strengths. If you're if you're if you think you're really good at geometry and you missed out on something, go and do a quick revision. But if you think you're really bad at a factorial type of questions and you missed out on a couple of questions, dump that. Now it's not a time to go around trying to become a doyen in something new. Now it's time to consolidate. Say, look, I'm good at this, I'll nail that. I'm not good at this, I'll leave this. And if someone is just not prepared for different sections in for this exam and they, they, they get about a week to prepare. Out of the 100 questions, almost all 34 in verbal are in play. You can attempt. There's no preparation advantage to attempting. Okay. So to scoring and doing well, obviously there's a preparation advantage. Okay. The DILR 32 questions, anybody can do it. You have three, four days to get the hang of it. You can technically have a code. In quant out of 34, 15 to 16, most people can attempt. Fine. So if you have not prepared, if you have not completed syllabus, now is the time to stop feeling bad about it. And I find so many students have this overhang where they feel like, look, I'm not fully prepared for the syllabus. I'll finish everything and start my mocks. That doesn't work. Don't feel bad. Don't have that clouding your mind. Preparation is done. You have covered syllabus. You have co take it from me that anyone who's thought about CAT has automatically covered 70% of the syllabus. You've thought about CAT and thought about it, prepared something for two weeks, you can attempt 80 out of 100 questions. 80 out of 100 are in play. I'm not saying you, anyone can attempt 80 in the exam setting. That's, that's really tough. That's obscenely tough. But out of a paper of 100 questions, if you're given 12 hours, most people can have some approach for 75 questions. That's amazing. 
right so don't let this feeling of not having completed syllabus get to you from now on you sit yourself and say look i've covered everything now i'm going to go have a bunch of mocks for your strengths for your weaknesses create a strategy look, i simply cannot hit fast bowlers i'll tonk the spinners out of the park i'm really weak against spin i'll get the fast bowlers out of the park you need to have your plan in place and play for that and so take a lot of mocks be very disciplined about it know your strengths and weaknesses have clear strategies for leaving and and feel good about getting ready for this exam without this overhang of why oh, i have not completed the syllabus be very clear about that best wishes again